Hey guys, Harsh here back in video. So one of the latest Mini GT cars that I have over here for you guys today. So this is the Ford Premier Rally 1 car number 19 from the M Motorsport Ford World Rally team. And this is actually the winner car of the 2022 rally at Monte Carlo. So as you can see, it has the Red Bull livery. And as you know, I am a very big fan of the rally car design. And really my knowledge ends at that because I didn't watch the race or I have no idea what the race is about. So don't judge me if I misinterpret something on this particular unboxing or review. So as you can see, a pretty standard packaging we have over here. The mini GT number is 533. So if you want to buy it for yourself, which is now available, I believe after a at least month of delay. So you can get it for yourself it is in the scale of 1 to 64 obviously and would you look at that the race livery on this car is absolutely stunning to see and also with the red bull livery which is one of my favorite liveries on the racing side just the livery so now that we have the out of the box now let's take a closer look at it so here is the car and as you can see it is absolutely little with all the sponsors all around the car because obviously this is a racing car and this is the one thing i like about these sort of car is the livery of them so let's start with the front of the vehicle as you can see we have this big intake and the small very small ford logo let me just try to zoom in and see if it is sort of readable but uh, i don't think it is because of how small it is so let, let's just leave it at that i mean it is quite understandable what the logo is but let's say some guy didn't know what the ford logo looks like then he would have or she would have a hard time identifying the car brand then if you move to the sides there we can see we have the pulse castrol logo along with the parade logo right at the lip there and there is also an intake there as you can see which is sort of black painted but without the mesh design like the front intake there as you can see on the top we have the headlights which i think look sort of elegant in this car i don't know for what reason but they aren't very aggressive looking and they are sort of what you can say cute looking headlights which uh, i mean is okay but i would rather have aggressive looking headlights in a rally car of this caliber then moving on to the hood there we can see we have the red bull logo ford logo and safety culture which uh, i have no idea what that company is and along here with the slightly asymmetrical version we have the logo i believe of the 2022 rally monte carlo logo pretty nice to see that as well on the car so you just look at the hood and you can tell which year and which race it raced on the track so that's pretty nice next up looking at the wheels they are very nicely detailed and if you haven't noticed already we have the Pirelli P0 logo pretty nice to see on a tire although these tires are not treaded and this time i am quite sure that the, these rally cars don't use slick tires they use treaded tires for the maximum amount of grip so there is a little bit of laziness going on in mini gt for some reason because some cars do have treads on them but not this particular version don't know the reason why but we'll move on from there on the windshield there we, as you can see it is quite nice and shiny along with the windshield wiper and some logos on the top as well the car number 19 and the ford performance logo along with some other logo which i cannot pronounce right now other side is the same here we have the driver's name both i think one is the driver and one is the navigator so we get number 19 and both of them are french driver pretty nice to see that as well then if you take a look at the side mirror rubberized side mirrors without the reflective inserts which is quite standard with mini gt as you can see on both the side there now for this particular car i think i am going to take it apart and take a look at the inside of the car because if you haven't noticed already there yes there is a spare wheel at the back seat so let me just quickly grab my screwdriver take it apart and take a closer look at the interior So only two screws hold the whole base together and then I think we can just pop it out just like so. Yeah, this is the die cast body, the actual die cast body. And then here we have the base there. This base is also made out of metal. As you can see, we have a slight view of the drivetrain but nothing much there along with the manufacturer and the country of origin. Then here is the interior as you can see, completely encased in a roll cage, pretty nice to see. And this is one of the things that I quite like about mini gt is as you can see the amount of detail in the cockpit side as you can see they have racing seats and if you look at the steering wheel nothing special about it but as you can see we get some gear levers which i think one is for the shifting of gears and one is the handbrake i believe but i may be wrong and there is some sort of plastic hair stuck on there but i won't be able to remove it with these fat fingers just you can get an idea of how small these details are just 
if I put my finger next to it as you can see and at the back as you can see as all rally cars I think we have the spare tire with the same amount of detail so I guess that's about it for the interior now let's just close the car up and continue on with our review so at the back there we can see we have some more logos quite clearly printed so you will be able to make out each and every one of them not at the top I believe but still looks pretty nice and as you can see the livery on the top of the roof slightly go from grey color to this sort of blue color which is absolutely nice to see and one of the things that I like about this is that the grey color is actually in matte finish and if you look at the blue color as you can see it is in metallic finish so this is a very nice detail that they have added over here from matte to metallic at the back we have this massive spoiler as all rally cars have and this is one of the favorite parts of the car I believe because of how boxy and how aggressive this wing looks so pretty nice to see as well here we have the Ford EcoBoost hybrid logo along with the Castrol safety culture on either side of them along with the some other brand on the top as well as you can see painted black I think it's made out of carbon fiber maybe in the original car but who knows now moving to the back side we have a bunch of logos again and the tail lights here I am not quite sure what they have done over here first they did the plastic inserts very nice to see but they actually painted the plastic inserts so the reason of adding plastic inserts is completely destroyed because you install plastic inserts to get the realistic look and this type of realistic look I have seen in these DTM cars over here check out my review of that as well but here as you can see the plastic insert is there but it is painted over so not really sure why they did that I mean it just completely destroys the look of the tail lights but it is what it is and moving on to the center we have Castrol Ford, Puma, EcoBoost and whatnot logo, Pirelli logo there as well and here is the I think the small exhaust of the car nothing too special about it I think they try to keep it as concealed as possible because obviously you know these cars jump a lot and the exhaust might get damaged so they encased this inside the car nonetheless a pretty nice model to have if you are a rally fan or just like the rally cars and their boxy designs so thanks for watching the video, hopefully you like it and if you have any doubts or comments regarding this video, you can comment down below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. So until then, I will catch you all in the next one.